14. Strawberry Verbena. That'll probably be good. And day 14, we have a little pug and Cody's treats. Two treats today. Oh, we got a card from the Krosis. And oh, this is from the Dietzes, our old Virginia neighbors. Oh, wow. I think Anna got married. Oh. And a Christmas card from my aunt and uncle. Oh, it's a little baby picture. And the pictures grow every day. Get a few more cards. Good morning, everyone. Well, I've been up, checked email, took Cody outside, threw the ball, uh, had to do some doctor calls this morning. Uh, my mole was not a mole, so that's all good. Don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, and I am headed to a knitting group of uh, my friends that I taught how to knit, and they still meet on Tuesdays, so I'm going to go knit on the blanket with them. And then I'm headed to my local yarn store to show them some stitch patterns. So I will take you with me. We got a new wreath for the front door. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing about that is it seems like I'm washing my so I stopped at the Apple House, which is right near my home, to check out the little Christmas holiday bazaar they have there. I've never been in from uh, all the days we've lived here. I think this is new, but I thought I should try it out. So they had it all decorated on the outside. And this is where the University of Minnesota Landscape Arboretum sells apples in the fall. So they had just decked it out with a bunch of gifts just buy kids stuff. Um, there were quite a few people in here so I tried to be unobtrusive with my recording and it got a little uh, sketchy. It's hard to see it. It's a little raggy but I thought I would just show you what I found while I was there. craft section of course I found a yarn tree and some felted balls that you could make so that was kind of cute and gnomes gnomes were everywhere all the gnome decor if you collect gnomes you are right in <laughs> they had a whole table full of all stuff that was gnomes but I think we could make this right knit a hat find some furry yarn and make a nose this is where the Honeycrisp apple was made, was first made, and they did have some apples left from fall, and then they had tons of pumpkins and gourds. Well, I'm back home from being out and about all afternoon. I did stop at my local yarn store, but traffic in this little town was hectic and I didn't feel comfortable videoing while I crossed the street to get over to the store and then when I got in there they got really busy there were just too many people there were there's a bunch of young girls there's a gift shop in front and then yarn in the back and I really just needed to have a quick meeting pick up some yarn from them show them a couple of stitch patterns that I have chosen for a design that I'm going to do kind of get their approval I just needed to know whether or not the fingering weight yarn that they purchased or the shop pop, the samples, are going to show up in the textured stitch patterns that we're looking at. Um, I'm going to be doing two designs for them 
and it, it just was really busy. They kind of traded off talking to me, and then finally I just said, I'll come back later. Um, I just took the yarn and left, and so then when I was on my way home, that's when I stopped at the Apple House, because I've seen the sign a number of times, and they were really busy too. People are out and about getting presents, and um, everywhere I went today was requiring masks, so um, yeah, I felt good about that too. Uh, and then I started supper, and my husband came through the back door just a few minutes ago, and it was, what, five, five something, and he was early, and I was like, and I remembered that he has a meeting um, tonight that he has to be on Zoom, so he was running late for that, and he went right upstairs to where he has his computer, and so we're not going to eat until a little later, so I kind of stalled my <laughs> cooking process. I have not put the chicken mixture into the little biscuits that you roll out you just roll them out into a circle and then fold them over and yeah so it should be good and easy to just kind of delay that for a few minutes um while i edit this so i got this edited and ready to go up later and tomorrow is going to be kind of a quieter day so i've spent two days kind of running around town running errands i've done a little more online shopping those things are getting delivered so I have a gift card to wrap and um, another present that came. Um, yeah, you know, getting everything done, all the lists. I did pull the cookie recipes. So I think I pulled six different kinds of cookies. So we're gonna decide which ones we wanna make. So I have to put all those items on the grocery list for next Monday or Tuesday. And we got tickets to take my parents to the Chanhassen Dinner Theater which is the next town over from us. And it's a very well-known, big, um, multiple stage, um, old, it's been around forever. And they're doing a Celtic Christmas um, music, but they're not having dinner because they don't have enough help. So we thought that would be a fun thing to take mom and dad to next week when they come. So we got tickets for that. And yeah, we're just, you know, I keep thinking of things, oh, I needed to get another pair of pants my mother-in-law wanted a robe um, and some pants so I had to get those ordered to get them here because we're gonna see her on Saturday so that was a bit of a kerfuffle to try to get stuff something that could be shipped that quickly but I could go pick it up at JC Penney so I may go I may go and do that I'm in my favorite shirt of all time it's fleece and it's the softest thing and I love hot pink and orange so I, I wear it all the time it's older than the hills and I always put it on um, when I'm cooking and stuff because it washes up just great and I don't splatter don't have to wrap the towel around my neck but I did get the brown hat finished um, last night the chunky hat so that's great and I, I got a couple of inches done on my blanket today at the knitting group with the, the gals at the library I put in a little video of the table um, but we never stopped chatterboxing enough to like so I kind of had to cut it off and sometimes you know I'm using my phone when I'm out and about and then I use my iPad when I'm at home so that's where the screen goes I probably should get a prof more professional video camera but I'm not going to invest it is what it is <laughs> this is what I'm doing so anyway we're gonna I'm gonna make up those little hand pies for supper I may cast on another chunky hat um, and just knit on the blanket tonight. Last night I watched um, David Foster, uh, like documentary on David Foster, the musician who has written, you know, all the songs and has been up for the Grammys. And um, he's an older gentleman. He's married now to a young young gal. Um, it was fascinating, really good. After I watched that Marino Rita Marino last week. I got suggestions for this one last night and night. So about 10 o'clock, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that and see if it's any good. So I would recommend that one too. He did a lot, um, a lot of music in his lifetime. He's probably 70, some, 70 now maybe, something like that. And he's still working. He'd still like to do a Broadway show. Um, so yeah, I watched that and that was good. I finished the book for book club and I started a new one. I'm not loving it. It's okay. It's light. It's kind of a quirky, light romance. It's okay. I'll finish it. I'll talk about it on the podcast. So, um, yeah, other than that, just, you know, trying to do, th do things. 
lists and lists, more lists. I was crossing things off the list today and then I added several more things. So I need to widen that yarn from the yarn store and that will be something that I can't show because that's a secret. But they got four colorways and um, I really like one a lot. One's very neutral um, and the other two I could, I could work with. So we're gonna decide. Um, once I wind it up, sometimes you can tell what it's going to do just by looking at it in the cake. And then I might have to knit some swatches and see what it does with this kind of variegated, well, kind of speckled yarn. Um, but pretty colors seems to be very nice. So Cody's laying on the ground here in front of the fireplace already. He's out for the night. He already had supper and he is eating snow like, like he hasn't had water in days. He goes out there and licks it and eats it and he doesn't want to come in. He just wants to be out there eating snow. But he's sound asleep right here. Maybe I'll show you. All right, this is what's for, for dinner tonight. Just need some cream of chicken soup and some uh, mixed vegetables. I'm going to use peas and carrots, cream of chicken, and then some biscuits. And I am going to shred two chicken breasts in the mixer. So super simple. Just mix it up a little bit. And it shreds it right down. Well, they look delicious. I did not make the second tube of biscuits. I just made one for the two of us, and then I just cooked the extra chicken and vegetables so we can just have extra on the side. Then I served salad. He got out his winter blankies. He, he just loves to lay on blankets. And so we have these pieces of fleece fabric that I bought that we rotate through and um, this one over on the right has Christmas gnomes way over here. And the one he's on has frozen snowflakes. <laughs> but that's, he, he likes to lay if the blankets are down. So that's what we do. I think I'm gonna sign off early tonight. I just wanna say, have you checked out my new Pairs of Socks collection? Have you gone over and used the code PAIR, P-A-R, to get the four DK weight socks for just $6? The four fingering weight socks for just $6? Or all 10 of the patterns for just $8? Every single pattern is a dollar off if you just want one. Everything uses the code PAIR. I'd really appreciate it <laughs> if you would go over and give it some love. Um, yeah, I just was looking at the socks on the dining room table today and thinking, oh, I have to do a little sales pitch and encourage everyone to go buy it. One of my testers wrote me the nicest note and said that her daughter said that the Anjou Pear Socks, which is the first one I designed, which was the hardest one, um, are her favorite socks. And her mom has knit her lots of socks, and she sent them to her, and they were her favorites. And, oh, it just warms your heart when somebody, does, you know, knits something that you've designed, and then they, you also get positive feedback from it. So that was really nice. We are going to watch a movie, and so I'm just going to upload this quick, and it's going to be a shorter one today. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.